for the rehearsal for tonight, for this morning. So last night we had the opportunity of doing some costumes and putting those together. Today I've got a storybook I want you guys to read. And I have a gift for each one of you. It worked out very well. So we're going to share that uh, with you for the kids, etc. It's all about Christmas and kids and putting all that together. I want to thank you all for being here again and for showing up. Uh, I'm glad to have uh, fairies here today with us. At the last service, I had uh, dinosaurs and a uh, new uh, puppy, um, some pet pets. Uh, I had it all morning, I've got these things that people are showing up, boxes of Legos, all kinds of things that have shown up for Christmas. So I'm glad that you guys are here today and uh, want to welcome you as part of your stuff. Did you get all your train stuff? Yeah. Okay, very good. I was worried about that. I just want to make sure that happened. Because, you know, I got things I've been hearing about and I got to make sure all those take together. Today we're going to uh, do what we do best. This is Christmas uh, morning. And one of the challenges is sometimes that breaks into our routine. So thank you for breaking into whatever family traditions you have and coming here. We hope by the end of the service, by the things that we do, the things that we share, that it will have an impact for you and in your life. Uh, receive it as a gift uh, that comes to you. Um, I think I talked to you last night about being, being discovered, found, and held on to by wonder. <laughs> How do we put wonder into our lives? A guy at the grocery store, of all things, um, he's from Massachusetts, and we were talking, and he just said something about the fact that um, he was, he remembers a pastor preaching one time and saying to him that don't lose the wonder of Christmas. Now that's amazing, because he's a little older, and he remembered that. Don't lose the wonder of Christmas. And I said to him, how do you get that? And he said, I tried to find it and it's really hard to get. I said, so what did you do? He said, I just let it find me. Now I've got a great sermon illustration here. I'm thinking I have to let wander find me. Isn't that the way it is? Instead of us going out and searching for peace, like it's a hide and go seek game, uh, God is not that, uh, you know, he's not Deu Obscondidus as the Lambert talks about, a God that's out there we never see. But God is one of those people who comes in with us. He finds us. And then when he finds us, instead of, he, he, he fills us full of love and peace and joy and wonder. And that's what we're going to do this morning, is find wonder in the words and in the story. Otherwise, the story can be just any old story. But it's our story. And today we can find that, that peace and that hope and that joy and that love that Christ brings uh, to us. My thank you for Bedman for helping out by doing the slides. He, he's really doing real well. And uh, I want to just tell him that so that he gets that down again. Okay. In the fullness of time, God so loved that he sent his one and only son. And into the world and into the world that was so busy that it had lost its way. They forgot about why they were doing what they were doing. They were just getting busy and doing things. And into that world came God's Son, giving us a story that now is our story of a Savior, of a God who loved us so very much. He sent His Son to demonstrate that love, love that came down at Christmas in the form of a baby that would give us hope, love, joy, and also peace. God incarnate in a stable, joy incarnate in a stable, joy in a manger of hay, the good news of great joy for all people, Christ the Lord. So I want you to join us on this journey this morning as we retell the story once again and tell the story, not only to ourselves, but we'll be telling it again to the kids and they'll be telling it to us as part of that, our grandchildren and beyond, anyone and everyone that we meet today, to tell them the story. I went on Facebook early this morning and I started seeing people post things. I was kind of interested, I thought, what do people post on Christmas morning? And it was interesting, I must have good friends because they're all posting about good things. One lady who had a diagnosis of stage four cancer a few weeks ago. She's posting about, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but all I know is that God is with us. And I thought, I need to hear that kind of thing. I say that to you because I think that's important for you 
to maybe also do that. If you're into that, text someone, write someone, call someone, pay something on Facebook, on Twitter, whatever you want to do, and just say a word. Because sometimes in the most unlikely places, we hear those kinds of stories. We write and hear what persons have to write, and they get to know who we are. Maybe they don't know that side of us, to know about our faith and our hope and our love and joy, and wish that to them. That's one of the things that's missing. So at least on Christmas Day, we are not too busy. We're busy just enough in order to make sure that the Christmas story and the Christmas message is told by our actions, by our love, joy, and hope that we share with others. So the reading of the first Advent candle. I think we're ready for that. Good morning and Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you. It all began thousands of years ago, before the birth of Jesus, when the world needed rescuing by the long-promised Messiah. The prophets kept the hope alive. Our being here today proves that we have hope. Today we light the Advent candle of hope, and remember the words of hope thousands of years before his birth. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 tells us, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God is with us, like us, and living among us, Emmanuel. Our hope today is spilling over on one another. Hope is the one thing that could get us through the darkest times, the light of hope. We like to dispel the darkness, the candle of hope. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, for Mary was expecting a child. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Let's join together and sing. <laughs> Today we light the love advent candle and rejoice the candle of love burns brightest. While they were there, the time came for the, for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger away in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Let's join together and sing. nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. 
because I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. The angels continued praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace. Angels we have heard on high. Let us join together. Angels we have heard on high. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly sing before the plain, and the mountains in reply, and calling their joyous strain. Let's join together in singing Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Yeah. 
We have lit all the candles but one, the largest center candle. What is that candle? The big one in the middle center. It is the best candle of all, and we only light that candle on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It is the Christ candle. Did you hear me? It is the Christ candle we light tonight, to, this morning. This candle at the center of the Advent wreath that proclaims that Jesus Christ is born. Emmanuel, God with us. This morning, one candle that will say, O holy night, the light of the world, a son is born, a son is given on this holy night. chapter of the book of John, I am the light of the world. Those who follow me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of the life. I am the world's light. No one who follows me stumbles around in the darkness. I provide plenty of light to live in. And now I invite you to be the light of the world. I invite you to proclaim and live in such a way as to bring out <coughs> the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. If I make you bearers of light, you don't think I'm going to put you under a basket, do you? I'm putting you on the light stand. Now that I've put you up there on a hilltop, on the light stand, shine. Keep open house. Be generous with your lives by opening up to others. You'll prompt people to open up with God, this, gener this generous Father in heaven. And what was that promise made 800 years before by the prophets? that came true on Christmas night from the book of Isaiah, the ninth chapter. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a child is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign for his kingdom has come on earth as it is in heaven. All right, kids, come on down. Join me down front. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I brought just enough things for you guys tonight. That is so cool. That is so good. Oh, can I ask your help? Hold on to that. Okay, so uh, good morning. Good morning. 
I tell you, it is so wonderful. I tell you, we've got fairies dancing around, lighted fairies now, so that they have the opportunity. Lights, please. Light fairy. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Be the light. Make it happen. I'm glad that y'all are here this morning. What a wonderful day we have together today. Did y'all get, uh, did you open presents yet? Yes. Okay, maybe tell me one thing that you've got that you really like uh, what you got for presents. Anybody? Yes. A pottery set. You be making pottery soon? Very nice. Have you done that before? I think that'd be perfect. You you have a talent for that. That's not crazy. What? Archery lessons from your father? Is he the instructor? You got real lessons from a real person that does it. Really? That is so kind of you. Do you have your do you have a bow? Do you have arrows? And Dad, you outfitted her well then. She's ready to go. That'll be good. Okay, and a what? A pull-up bar. And you got something else for that neck. Yes, and what is that? Looks like a razor back. Yeah. Your father's footsteps. Very good. Excellent. You got yourself a, a, per, a pocket a billfold, so you're good with a razor back on it. That's a good thing. Uh, excuse me, uh, Miss Barrett. Now, what did you get for Christmas? A magic mixie. A magic mixie. <laughs> okay, I love it. That's what we've been waiting for. Very good. Anything else you got for Christmas? Perfume and nail polish. Very nice. Excellent. Now, you got more than nail polish, I know. You got what? Tons of nail polish. No. <laughs> Joking with me. Okay, go for it. I got tiny shirts and I got a wind up train thing. Did you really? Yeah. You're, you're always talking to me about trains. You're big into trains, aren't you? Yeah. I um, can see that you got the outfit on and everything. That is so cool. Have you been on a train? Did you get a ride on a train? Yes. Where did you do that? Uh, Boone. And you went on the yeah. Boone train? That's good. Cool. I got it for my birthday two years in a row. Did you really? The train man. I love it. That was how good. And? I got an indoor basketball. An in indoor basketball. Like what about Legos? No. I've got no basketball. An indoor basketball. Now, is that something you hang over a door or something and you no, throw like, it? So like, it's like one that's made for like indoor games, so like not outside at all. It's like a piss and um, So you, you play basketball in your house among no, all the. Oh. Not in your house, like at a gym. Oh! So you got your own basketball and you get the everything. No, it's okay. We're just a little slow. Too much eggnog we had uh, to begin the day with. So we're too well. Okay, very good. So I'll tell you what. I have a book that I brought. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm looking for a volunteer. Oh, I see you. Once you're standing up, why don't you come right on over here? Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, I'm going to do this. A minute. Oh, can I have that microphone? I think we're on. Okay, we are. Okay. Now, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to hold this book up, and I'd like you to read it for everyone, all right? So they can see it. And there's something about this book that will be very cool, and uh, I'll explain it as we go into it, all right? Because everybody here, raise your right hand, repeat after me, I, I, I will, will make, make the, the animal, animal sound. Sound. Oh, you say that? Okay, very good. Now, this book is called The Noisy Night. Yes, but it was originally The Silent Night. And so why do you think it would be so noisy? This child should get another present. <laughs> that is very good. Okay, now talk into that mic so they can hear you again. Now remember guys, when she offers up a sound, you have to give the sound. Okay, here we go. It may have been a silent night when Jesus came to earth. Or it may have been a noisy night to celebrate his birth. Get ready. While chickens clucked. 
sing a song called Silent Night again for those of you that might have missed that. So what I'm going to do is go up here, pass the fairy, and then I'm going to light this from the Christ candle. And now that I have it lit, I'm going to need somebody 
to light their candle so they can pass it along here. Um, okay, just a minute. And very, I'll give you one of these, but I want you to be very careful with these wings. Okay? You don't want to set fairy on them. No, it not be cool. Here you go. You want to go trash. Remember, pull that away from your chair and your costume. Yeah. Yeah. circle around the outside and uh, we'll join together in singing. Jesus, baby born into this world, that light has conquered darkness. Say that with me. Light has conquered darkness. We may be putting out the candles in a moment, but the light of Christ shines in you. So go make a difference. Allow the light to shine for you. Allow you to be the life of the party. Allow you to be the spirit of Christ in every adventure with family or friends, whatever you do this day and the next day and the next week and the next month and the next year because you are the light that Christ has provided for the world so it may conquer darkness. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. We're going to sing that song as we get ready to leave today. So let's try it. Joy to the world. There we go. Joy to the world. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. Friends, go be the church. Go be the church. Merry Christmas.
needs all that. That's right. Every fairy needs a light. Every fairy needs a 